this as family and friends came together to remember four-year-old legend Talaferro, who was shot and killed as he slept here in Kansas City in his bed. KCTV 5's Leslie Aguilar went to today's tribute. Right now, legend Tally Farrell's family is pleading for information on the little boy's murder. They want justice and they want legend's legacy to live on. A parade of vehicles drove past a crowd of legend Tally Farrell's actual family and his basketball family. This is our way to show tribute to our, our legend yes. and to kind of we can't make the kids understand something so terrible, but we do want to give them an outlet to kind of en enjoy and embrace each other. Coaches Alicia Saunders and Robert Haley say legend came to their program as a three year old. Despite his age and heart condition, he gave his all on the court. He showed that motivation and drive. He showed up at every practice. His young teammates all know legend is gone, but their parents say it's hard to explain to four, five and six year olds why. Tammy Willis's son heard on the news that legend was shot. And then the questions got a little bit more challenging to be able to answer. And it made him start thinking about, well, is this going to happen to me? And how are you going to protect me? And, you know, why did it happen in the first place? And can't you just go wake him up? One, two, three. Legend's mother, Sharon Powell, led a balloon release in tribute to her only son. She wants him to be remembered as a loving, caring, sweet boy who loved sports. He survived a heart surgery as a baby and would have had another had he not been killed. We just want justice for him and we just want everybody to continue to build his legacy. For those who may have information about Legend's murder, his parents have this message. I, I really don't got that many words to say, you know. If you know something about it, just speak up. Speak up. If you know something, let us know. And like I said, if you don't feel comfortable talking to a police officer or a detective or anything in that nature, you can call me or his dad or you guys can write us on social media. Police say they have received a few anonymous tips in this case, but nothing leading to a suspect or the suspect vehicle. They're asking people who leave anonymous tips to be very specific. They need locations, names, as many details as possible. They do have very grainy video footage of the suspect vehicle, but so far no information on where that car might be. Les Aguilar, KCTV 5 News. And here's a look at that video Leslie was just talking about. You have to take a close look because the video quality is not the best. But if you recognize it, you'll know. If you have any clue as to the make, model, or better yet, the owner of that car, call the tips hotline at 816-474-TIPS. You do not have to give your name, and you could get a $25,000 reward. Meanwhile, legends visitation and funeral are set for this Friday at the Serenity Funeral Home in Kansas City. He'll be laid to rest that same day at the 12 Gates Memorial Gardens. Chief's defensive end Frank Clark has stepped up to cover the cost for his family. And legends mother also wants the community to support the American Heart Association. Legend was supposed to be a part of the annual walk coming up on September 3rd. You can support or even join their team called Walking Legend. We have shared a link where you can do that in our Found It on 5 section online.